the third of Denmark had pickled punks. Uh, also another one, an Italian uh, named Elise Aldrovandi had a, over 18,000 pickled punks. I mean, they had tons of these little babies in jars. Yeah. And so well, you Game know they were up to little... something. Yeah. And I think you know, my neighbor was saying that back in the 70s, I think it was either in Boston or New York, says one big city, um, that they found a whole bunch of these test tubes underneath a monastery. And they were basically growing like people in, in them. And their mom's like, no, the Catholic Church does not do that. And I'm like, Homunculus. I... And who would be the one to be the alchemist that would make a homunculus? Uh, maybe hermits that were priests. Let's get real here. Let, right. Let's get really real. So, They're the people. Heidi, uh, let me just ask one question. So you're saying Jesuit priests are the father, the, the ones planting the seed, quote unquote, allegedly. Because most ladies won't walk away from kids just starving and up on a stage. People still needed help. There were little tiny infants at uh, times, you know, that were up for grabs where these people didn't even know that they were adopted later and they didn't they didn't give them their records when they rode these orphan trains once yes. they were christened they gave them their parents name and that was it and these people didn't know where they came from and so that's strange to me knowing at the same time that they were monkeying with weird things and if you if if you don't believe that look into pickled punks yeah this gets weird and I know this sounds weird, but King Frederick III of Denmark had pickled punks. Uh, also, another one, an Italian uh, named Elise Aldrovandi had a, over 18,000 pickled punks. I feel like I feel like this is where we get into Germany and Hitler and Mangala and all these different experiments. I'm like, what were they really trying to do? Right. When they were saying they wanted, you know, certain eye color, certain, they weren't just looking for that. They were looking at their eye teeth. They were looking at their canines. They were looking at all kinds of things that the original Adam supposedly didn't have. Mm. What if they were trying to taint a whole race, just like in the days of Noah, when Noah was the only one left? Yep. yep. And the only one pure of his generation, they didn't mean pure as in he never sinned. They meant his body. They meant his DNA was untainted. And so I find it very interesting that now we've gotten to a point where everybody you know has allergies. Everybody you know has all this weird stuff. Everybody you know has like a hundred things wrong with them. And everybody will blame it on the air and the pollution and the food and the this and the that. 